Hello everyone, welcome to the first part of Data Hub installation tutorial. In the previous video, we have learned how to create a new Azure virtual machine and get access to it. And now in this video, we are going to install Docker and other components which are required for Data Hub installation. So let's get started. This is our Ubuntu machine which is currently running on our Putty configuration and in order to have docker installation we are going to take help from this documentation so before you install docker engine for the first time on your new machine you need to set up the docker repository and after that you can install and update docker from that repository so first of all we are going to update and upgrade our system packages so for that we are going to copy and paste these commands to update and upgrade our system packages and after that we require few more packages so in order to install them we are going to execute this command and now we are going to add docker's official gpg key to our system so in order to do that we are going to execute this third command and after that we are required to set up the stable repository of docker so for that we'll execute this fourth command so now our stable repository in our system has been created so this is the time to install docker so for that we are going to copy and execute this command into our machine So you can see that zero new installed as it was already installed on my machine. That's why there is no new installation and our Docker is successfully installed into our system. And now in order to verify that whether Docker has been installed or not, you can run this email. So in this command, we are running this hello world image from Docker. So in the output, we can see that hello from Docker. It is printing hello from Docker. And after that, we can verify that yes, Docker has been successfully installed into our machine. So after that, we are going to install JQ. And in order to do that, we'll copy this command and execute this into our machine. And now, we'll check its version in order to verify that whether JQ has been installed or not. So you can find JQ version 6, version 1.6. So from here, we can verify that JQ has been installed. And now this is the time to install Docker Compose. So first of all, we are going to download the current stable release of Docker Compose. And in order to do that, we'll copy this command and will execute into a machine and after that we'll give it execution permission so for that we are going to copy and execute the second command and after giving the permission you can check the docker compose version in order to verify that whether docker compose has been installed or not so here we can see that it is showing the version means it is successfully installed into our machine and that's it for this video thanks for watching